Good morning. My name is Chris Griffin and I'm the Dean of Students at Center Grove Middle School Central. It is my honor and privilege to be able to make this very important and special presentation. On behalf of Middle School Central, I'd like to welcome all the students, staff, parents, and loved ones joining us here today. You know, this certainly isn't the way that we uh, wanted to end the school year. Our sixth grade class was having a phenomenal year at Central. They came in with tremendous energy and an eagerness to learn. Our sixth grade staff got to enjoy a group of students that were willing to work hard, explore new possibilities, push themselves to greater heights, and have a lot of fun along the way. We were very much looking forward to spring performances, athletic contests, dances, and all the other fun and memorable things that come with the end of a traditional school year. Unfortunately, unprecedented events force us into a new normal, one of which none of us enjoy. But when faced with adversity, the Center Grove Central community doubled down on determination and refused to let these difficult times destroy our grit, our creativity, our innovation, and our appreciation for one another. I want to thank all of our amazing professional educators who continued to create incredible learning experiences for our students and did everything they could to connect with and support the students they love. I want to thank our students for not giving up and sticking together for staying engaged during a time when it can be so hard. Finally, I want to thank our parents and loved ones for remaining patient and guiding your students throughout this e-learning process. As the American author Robert Schuller once wrote, tough times never last, tough people do. Having seen our response to these very challenging times, there is no doubt that the Center Grove Central community is a community full of tough people. And with that said, let's be mindful and really enjoy the next 20 to 30 minutes together. Let's truly take advantage of this opportunity to celebrate our marvelous sixth graders. They worked so hard to achieve excellence and their efforts didn't go unnoticed. Their teachers have recognized the greatness in their work, their attitudes, and their spirits. So we are so excited to present our, the uh, sixth grade award winners for the 2019-2020 school year. So with no further ado, let us begin our celebration. The first uh, series of awards uh, we'll be announcing today are departmental in nature. And the first department uh, that would like to present awards is the math department. Our math department gives out an award called the Indiana Math League Award. This award um, comes from the Indiana Mathematics League contest. In February, the top students in mathematics participate in the Indiana Mathematics League contest. The top five scores for each grade level are submitted to represent the school. The students representing us this year earned the school fifth place out of 18 schools. This score placed us third in our region, which spans across 12 counties. The following students earned the top five scores and represented it Center Grove Middle School Central in the state competition. Please note, only the top five scores are used for our team score, but all students earning a score in the top five are recognized. In alphabetical order, congratulations to Carson Boggs, Kipe Suzuki, Braden Kamlonk, Anya Srivastava, and Kelly Wang. The Indiana Mathematics League recognizes the top 30 scores in its results announcement. Four Center Grove Middle School Central students were recognized. Please give an extra round of applause and appreciation for the following students. Carson Boggs, Kipe Suzuki, Braden Kamlonk, and Anya Srivastava. Congratulations, guys. Our next series of awards comes from our band department. The students chosen for these awards have demonstrated outstanding improvement, persistent dedication and performance, and outstanding character throughout the year in band class. Their growth-minded, positive attitude and commitment to improving their musicianship can be observed in nearly every rehearsal. They have taken opportunities to participate in extra musical activities outside of school band and represent the qualities expected of the CGMSC band members while there. They are able to handle criticism with grace and take improving their craft as a challenge and to work, better, work to better themselves in life as well as in band class. These young performers exemplify dedication, excellence, perseverance, perseverance, excuse me, perseverance, and of course, musicianship. They are true champions in the CGMSE band program. 
The first band award is for Outstanding Performer. The students chosen for this award have demonstrated outstanding leadership and character in addition to their masterful performance in band class throughout the year. They have taken opportunities to participate in extra musical activities and while there, represent the high standards of the CGMSE band. They demonstrate dedication, professionalism, perseverance, strength, and excellence in performance, building light bulb moments in band every day. Sixth grade outstanding performers for band for this year were Marcy Woodhouse, Addison Matern, Andra Valletta, Michael Levitt, Nanaka Takahashi, Laney Oaks, Mackenzie Nuttall, Matthew Richardson, Carson Boggs, and Claire Adkisson. Congratulations to our outstanding performers. The next award in band is for our students with growth mindset. The growth mindset is about the pursuit of excellence when sometimes the process of learning is more important than the actual achievement. In other words, Growth mindset students possess an unending passion for learning. These students show a positive attitude and commitment to improving their musicianship to reach their own goals. Growth mindset performers are critical of themselves and are inspiring to their peers and teachers. This year's Growth Mindset Award winners in band for the sixth grade are Chloe Hoover, Savannah Robb, and Leah Stramans. Congratulations, guys. Our next departmental awards will come from our choir department. From our choir department, our first and only award for the sixth grade are section leader awards. The section leader award is presented to one student in each section of every choir. The combination of leadership, hard work, and a positive attitude make these students stand out. These traits are evident just about every day of the year. Mr. Anderson, Mrs. Coulter, Mr. Hansen, and Mrs. Houston have spent a lot of time looking at all of their students, and even though it was a very difficult decision because of the number of outstanding students they have, they have picked out some excellent representatives. The sectional lead leader awards from choir this year are as follows. From the Choral Soprano, our Choral Soprano winner is Ella Horvath. Our Choral Alto winner is Max Fosnott. Our Coraliers soprano winner is Claire Lawler. And our cor cor oh, excuse me, Coraliers alto winner is Saul Greenwood. Phenomenal job, guys. Congratulations. Our next departmental awards will come from our orchestra department. The first award from the orchestra department is our leadership award. This award is for those that are on time, on task, and leading by example every day in the classroom. They practice their instruments, go above and beyond for their orchestra, seek knowledge for themselves in their section, and help to make sure their orchestra family sticks together. The Leadership Award winners for this year in orchestra are Audrey Johnston and Brooklyn Hyatt. Congratulations, ladies. The next award from orchestra is called the Dedication Award. The Dedication Award is for those orchestra students who have shown incredible dedication to their instrument both in and out of class. These individuals have been quietly leading their section and the orchestra by their dedication to personal practice and listening for instructions to better their section and ensemble. The Dedication Award winners in orchestra this year are Maria Shank, and Reagan Weddle. Congratulations, ladies. Next award from our orchestra uh, department is the Positivity Award. This award is for those who help to keep the orchestra room light and fun by reminding us in tough times that we do love our instruments and play them for a reason. This person makes us laugh and want to go along with them to keep it fun while focused. The Positivity Award winner this year from orchestra is Chloe Farmer, a.k.a. the Giggling Cellist. Congratulations, Chloe. Last and final award from orchestra this year is the Practice Pays Off Award. 
This award reflects those students who have done an incredible job practicing this year and therefore have significantly grown in their technique, musicianship, and potential. The award winner for the Practice Pays Off Award this year is Rylan Stevens. Congratulations, Rylan. And with that, we'll move on to the next department. We got Technology Education Awards. Technology Education Award this year is called the Golden Hammer. The Golden Hammer Award goes to two students who showed exceptional effort and determination throughout their time in technology education. They were exemplars in time management, organization, planning, designing, building, and in collaboration. They always strive to get better and willingly took on tough cha challenges to push their understanding. This year's Tech Ed Golden Hammer Awards go to Bailey Brown and Audrey Johnston. Congratulations, guys. Great work. All right, our next award will be for Perfect Attendance. This award is presented to students present every school day, which means they had zero absences and zero occurrences of lost instructional time as outlined under state attendance laws. Awards are given for the number of years of perfect attendance achieved. You will be awarded a blue certificate and pin, and of course, these will be available for pickup at a later time. We have a couple slides for one year of perfect attendance. A lot of students, congratulations to these students for one year of perfect attendance. Yaselin Amates Martinez, Kaysen Barber, Emery Barber, Luciana Barrio, Kia Bay, Jackson Carlton, Logan Corbin, Madison DeVries. In addition, one year of perfect attendance, awards go to Tyler Hurt, Michael Linville, Abi Patel, Hayden Poppelman, Audrey Redding, Bryce Smotherman, Andrew Toshlog, and Presley Villanueva. Congratulations, guys, on your perfect attendance for this school year. We also have a number of students who have had more than one year of perfect attendance. For those who have two or more years of perfect attendance are the following awards. Drew Kardick for two years of perfect attendance. Alexander Landreth for two years of perfect attendance. Maria Shank for two years of perfect attendance. Casey Perry has an award for five years of perfect attendance. And Sloan Small also has a year, an award for five consecutive years of perfect attendance. That takes dedication. Phenomenal work, guys. Congratulations. All right, the next section of our awards presentation will be from our sixth grade teams. There are a number of awards that our sixth grade teams uh, give out annually. And the first award that our teams give out is something called the American Citizenship Award. This award is presented to students who best exemplify good character, integrity, honesty, compassion, and a strong work ethic. These students are chosen for always doing the right thing day in and day out, for working hard, and for being model students. You will be awarded a certificate and a pen, again, at a later time. The American Citizenship Award for the blue team. Award winners are Braden Comlock, Grace Plumley, and Camille Johns. American Citizenship Award winners for the orange team include Chloe Farmer, Deacon Norman, and Avery Klusmeyer. American Citizenship Awards from the silver team are Garrett Johnson, Lincoln Madden, and Kalia Salam. And our American Citizenship Award winners from the Yellow Team include Braden Goodpaster, Gannon Grant, and Maria Shank. Congratulations to all of our American Citizenship Award winners. The next award is presented to the top students on each team. These are uh, the top student award is presented to students with the top grade point averages in the sixth grade on each team. So this is top grade point average throughout the entire grade, but we recognize these students uh, by team. So 
blue team members who are uh, amongst the highest GPAs uh, for all of the sixth grade from the blue team. Again, all of these students here have a cumulative GPA of 4.0 from the blue team. Phenomenal work. Emma Barton, Caitlin Klingerman, Max Fosnott, Tyler Johnson, Braden Comlock, Callie Laird, Bryn Meyer, Hayden Poppelman, and Sloan Small. Again, all, all of these blue teamers had a GPA of 4.0. Top student awards from the orange team include Cole Heron, Anya Srivastava, Andra Valletta, Kelly Wang, Ella Carroll, Chase Cleveland, Hannah Ginn, Kipe Suzuki, Nikos Whitney, Katie Yeager, and Celia Yurz. Congratulations, folks. On our silver team, our top student award winners were Elizabeth Horvath, Sophia LaRocca, Olivia O'Haver, Mahekpreet Sidhu, Ella Timmons, and Heath Wingler. Great work, Silver Teamers. And our top student award winners from the yellow team are Isabella Gonzalez, Claire Adkisson, Claire Lawler, Mason Liu, and Braden Stark. Congratulations, yellow teamers. Congratulations to all of our top student award winners this year. The next team award is for our champion students. A champion student award is presented to two students on each team who exemplify the following criteria. Mental attitude, hard work, persistent, persistence, and a positive attitude. You will be awarded a certificate and a pen. In addition um, to me reading their names, I'm also going to be uh, reading the descriptions from uh, the teams about these students. So this is our champ students of the year from each team. We're going to start with the blue team. This, the following was submitted by the blue team about these students. Next, the blue team would like to present the champ award. This award is given to two students who give it their all and everything at school. They have a champion work ethic and mentality. They work hard 100% of the time in order to achieve great results in the classroom as well as what they do outside of school. Our two champ students are two of the hardest workers you will find. They always get their work done with an impressive level of effort, no matter the situation or circumstance. They also do everything with a positive attitude. The two individuals on the blue team who exemplify a champion work ethic and spirit are Logan Corbin and Ellen Ella, excuse me, Ella Hillegoss. Congratulations, guys. Phenomenal job. Next, our champ awards from the Orange team. The following was submitted from the Orange team about these two winners. The second award is called the Champion Student Award. We think of this as a mental attitude award, as well as one that recognizes perseverance. The first student receiving the award came to CGMSC as a student that experiences English as her second language. She is an extremely hard worker and is always on task in class. The other student receiving this word award always has a positive attitude and asks questions when needed to help him understand the content better. They are both good students that have always done their work, excuse me, they are both good students that always have their work done and are ready to learn. The Orange Champ Awards go to Momoka Miyazaki and Joseph Hamilton. Congratulations, you two. Phenomenal effort. The next team to give away Champ Awards will be the Silver Team. And the following was submitted about these two winners from the Silver Team. Champ Award again. The young man we have selected always puts forth his greatest effort on his schoolwork. He greets us each day with a huge smile and shares that warmth and positivity with all of his classmates. This student carries that same spirit into his work. He is constantly giving his work his very best and is never afraid to ask for help or try again. Even when he is modeling a great spirit and trying something a second time, he gives it his all as though it were his first. He is such a hard worker and his enthusiasm does not waver regardless of the circumstance. The first champ award winner on the silver team is Matthew 
in Coronado. Congratulations, Matthew. The following description was written by the Silver Team about the second Champ Award winner. You will never see our second recipient without a smile on her face. She has the most contagious, positive energy and lights up the room as soon as she enters. She doesn't know a stranger. You will always find her surrounded by peers because she is a great friend to those around her. This young lady looks out for her peers and would welcome others into her group if they were lacking a partner during group time. When someone is needed to step up, she will do it without hesitation because that is her heart. She will be the first to help or offer a hand to someone else. She has the most caring heart, wanting everyone to feel included and valued. She is not afraid of hard work, always is putting the best she has out there, but is never afraid to ask questions or for some extra help. We are so proud that she models leadership in both lending a hand and asking for support from her great community when needed. The Silver Team is happy to present their second Champ Award winner to Miss Lily Rao. Congratulations. All right. Finally, with our Champ Awards, our Yellow Team winners, the following uh, descriptions were submitted about the two winners from the Yellow Team. The champion students are students who are consistently working hard, setting a good example, and being someone a teacher would like to see in class. These students always ask questions so they can make sure they do their best each and every day. They model the school motto, champions make choices and choices make champions. Our first student is a quiet leader who listens to others. The unwavering patience and lack of complaint by this student when working in adverse situations is noticed each and every time. She listens to feedback from her teachers and implements the changes. This has made her an even better student. She is a role model in the classroom who participates even when she is unsure of herself. Indeed, this student's academic su success is definitely based on the amount of effort given each and every day. In addition, this student is always polite and gives us 100% in and out of the classroom. I have no doubt that she will succeed in whatever she decides to do. Our first Yellow Team Champion Student of the Year is Kaya Case. Congratulations, Kaya. Our second Champion Student has similar qualities. I have no doubt that this student will be, sur will be surprised that we see them as a Champion Student. They couldn't be farther from the truth. Instead, what the Yellow Team sees is a hard worker, someone who continues to work harder and harder even when they are struggling through difficult academic content. This person gives us 100% effort and does so with a smile on their face. Not afraid to ask questions to clarify misunderstandings, this student keeps at the task at hand. An analogy could be that they are a bit like a bulldog. They will work to understand and ask questions until they feel they have it. Emails, after school study times, homeroom, and hallway conversations are all places that the student has clarified some type of material. His learning didn't stop outside of his class time. Thank you to our Yellow Team Champion Student of the Year, Cody Lanning. Congratulations, Cody. Congratulations to all of our Champion Students of the Year awards. The next team award is for the Outstanding Student of the Year. This award is presented to two students on each team, one girl and one boy. Each team has written a brief summary as to why these students were selected. You will be awarded a certificate and a pen at a later time. Again, we'll start with our blue team, Outstanding Student of the Year Award winners. Uh, again, I'll also be reading a description submitted by their teams about each student. Outstanding Students of the Year for the blue team. From the blue team, sorry, I get the privilege of awarding the Outstanding Boy and Outstanding Girl for the blue team. The top girl on the blue team is an extremely well-rounded young lady. She is very focused and committed to her education as she has always strived to do her best in school. She also displayed tremendous leadership characteristics during school and team activities. She never failed to come to school with a smile and an incredible work ethic. She was a great leader, a great student, a great friend, and an all-around awesome young lady. This year, we are more than proud to award the top girl on the blue team to Sloan Small. Congratulations, Sloan. Excellent job. The top boy on the blue team is also a very hardworking and devoted student. He is always at the top of his game academically, striving to be the best possible student he could be. He is a young man 
that is a strong leader inside and outside the classroom, always giving 100% effort in everything he does. He is a great friend, has an impeccable work ethic, and is an infectious, friendly, outgoing personality. We are all very proud of all he has accomplished this year, and we're thrilled to have him on our team. The top boy this year on the blue team is Owen Sowers. Congratulations, Owen. Great work. All right, let's move on to the orange team, outstanding students of the year. From the orange team, the following descriptions were written about these two students. Finally, we'd like to recognize two students on our team with the Outstanding Student Award. This award is decided by looking at leadership, citizenship, as well as academic performance. The young man receiving the Orange Team's Outstanding Student Award is an excellent student. However, it's his sense of humor and willingness to work with others that makes him stand out. This young man, also known as Kujin, I hope I'm saying that right, can always be seen in the halls or classroom walking and talking with a variety of people. He does excellent work in the classroom and will advocate for himself when needed. We know this young man will do great things in the future and love that he was an orange teamer this year. We are proud to announce and congratulate our outstanding boy for the 2019-2020 school year, Carson Boggs. Congratulations, Carson. The young lady receiving our outstanding student award is a very strong student with amazing writing abilities. She is also a student that does everything she can to learn. She, she read or was on track to read all 20 YHBA books, and she was using free time to study for the academic Super Bowl. Her positive attitude, leadership, and work ethic never faltered, even when harassed about liking Purdue and the Cubs. We know we'll see great things from this young lady in the future and love that she was an orange teamer this year. We are proud to announce and congratulate our outstanding girl for the 2019-2020 school year, Andra Valletta. Congratulations, Andra. Excellent job. All right, outstanding student from the silver team. Read the description submitted by the team. First outstanding student this year from the silver team was Ella Timmons. When we think about Ella, the first word that comes to mind is determined. Ella is one of the most determined and hardworking young ladies who we've ever had the pleasure of teaching. When she has a goal and sets her mind to it, she can accomplish amazing things. She is a very hard worker and never settles for less than her best, as the award earlier for her 4.0 GPA proves. The next word that comes to mind when we think of Ella is devoted. Ella demonstrates her devotion with her deep compassion towards her friends and in her schoolwork. Every day during e-learning, she has been setting her alarm for 6 a.m. to tackle her learning and get to work. To Ella, there is no student or peer who is not treated as a friend and shown her warm and kind personality. Her leadership has, proven on, has been proven on multiple occasions to move other students to do the right thing. The mark of a true leader is not someone who is telling others what to do, but rather inspires others to do the right thing, and that is Ella. Congratulations, Ella. Heath Wingler is the outstanding student boy, boy student uh, from the Silver Team, and this is what they wrote about Heath. It didn't take long for Heath to stand out because of his outstanding character. Heath is truly an all-around leader. He excels academically in his rigorous schedule with honors classes, earning a top GPA award for the year. He kept up that impressive GPA while pushing himself to new limits on the cross-country team this fall and dominating the court for his basketball team this winter. He is constantly pushing himself to be the best, whether it's in academics or athletics. He leads in the classroom with a quiet maturity, and that is truly why he stood out to us this year. Heath could often be found leading by example as he was ready for class and prepared to learn and engage with his fellow students. He also has such a caring heart and would always volunteer to help out with anything or anyone. He has an awareness of people and their emotions that is mature beyond his years. He is accepting of everyone and has a compassion for all that can't be taught. Wow, congratulations, Heath. And this is a last message about these students from the team. Ella and Heath, we are so proud of you and feel honored to have had the pleasure of teaching you 
both this year. We know that you are each going to accomplish incredible things at Center Grove, but also in your future. You are well-rounded. Both have a heart of gold at this time. It's our privilege to recognize you. Great work, guys. All right. Let's check out our outstanding boy and girl from the yellow team. This is submitted from our yellow team. When we, as teachers, think about the word outstanding, it is so much more than academic. It is a term that ex exemplifies a student who is well-rounded, committed, committing their very best each day in and out of school to be the best student, athlete, and all-around person they can be. The yellow team teachers believe these two young people exhibit all of those qualities. Our outstanding girl is a young lady that was full of nerves and high personal expectations from the beginning. However, she was uncertain of the challenges ahead. We often tell our students, sixth grade is a long journey. Celebrate the achievements, accept the setbacks, but most of all, take on the challenges ahead and then believe in yourself. At the end of the first nine weeks, something flipped in this young lady. As she embraced the journey and her confidence, willingness to lead by example, and ultimately her success soared as the year progressed. In addition, this outstanding young lady dances for the dance refinery, the MSC dance team, and earned a role in our school play. But what we like about her best is her genuine heart for others. For all these reasons, the yellow team teachers have selected Claire Lawler as our outstanding girl of the year. Congratulations, Claire. Our outstanding boy from the yellow team is a young man who has gone along, excuse me, has gone along all year quietly doing all that is expected of him working hard academically, and being a good leader in class. Where we really saw his growth this year was at the beginning of second semester. Our outstanding boy is not only a very good student, he is also devoted to his sport and being the best at his craft that he can be. With that determination comes hard work and sacrifice of much of his free time, but he accepted that responsibility. This young man missed uh, school several times in the early winter, but every time he notified us ahead of time of his upcoming absence, gather work, or he, he gather work he would miss before leaving, and came back after each long weekend with all of his work completed, turned in all that work, and was ready to participate in all classes when he returned, all while successfully participating in tournaments around the country. This kind of maturity is impressive in any teacher's eyes. But as a sixth grader, it was more than we ever expected of him and it was a consistent practice. This willingness to dig deep and give his best each day to school and to a sport of wrestling is why William Vander Luke Guerin is the Yellow Team Outstanding Boy of the Year. Congratulations, William. Again, congratulations to all of our outstanding students for the 2019-2020 school year. All right, moving into a, a different award, our next award is called the Unity Award. It's in honor of Steve Hamilton. The Unity Award was created in memory of Steve Hamilton, a former special education teacher at Center Grove Middle School Central. Steve was a kind, caring man who dedicated his life to helping others to be the best versions of themselves. Steve had a very giving, generous spirit, but a notable thing about him was his ability to deliver a joke when it was most needed. He knew the jokes would make all of us giggle. Steve's daily life mission was to spread kindness and make others smile. The sixth grade teachers were asked to choose students who truly embody this spirit. The recipients of this award are students who go above and beyond to show kindness and compassion towards others. These students accept and embrace all others for who they are and are true models of what the human spirit is all about. We are so proud of these individuals and look forward to seeing them continue to lead and unite their fellow classmates with love and kindness. This year's Unity Award winners recognized by the Blue Team were Owen Sowers, Presley Martin, and Ta Taylor Townley. Congratulations. Unity Award winners for the Orange Team this year just won Miss Audrey Johnston. Congratulations, Audrey. Our Unity Award winners for the Silver Team were Annika Dienick and Addie Shadowin. Congratulations. And the Unity Award winners for the Yellow Team were Addie Siner and Macy Foley. Awesome job, guys. All right, let's move into uh, another academic award, the All A's Award. These students had All A's all year. And uh, we'll, we'll announce them by team. On the blue team, 
students that had all A's all year were Emma Barton, Caitlin Klingerman, Logan Corbin, Max Fosnott, Annika Garg, Hudson Holtum, Allison Hopkins, Camille Johns, Tyler Johnson, Zoe Johnson, Braden Comlonk, Callie Laird, Michael Levitt, Bryn Meyer, Laney Oaks, Celia Peters, Hayden Poppelman, Penelope Saha, Sloan Small, and Taylor Townley. Congratulations, all A award winners from the blue team. From the orange team, students that had all A's all year were Grace Campbell, Ella Carroll, Chase Cleveland, Hannah Ginn, Saul Greenwood, Tyler Hurt, Deacon Norman, Lucy Sindelbeck, and Anya Srivastava. Congratulations, orange, team, orange Teamers. Oh, and we have more. Also on the Orange Team, Kipe Suzuki, Bailey Tolliver, Natalie Vance, Andra Valletta, Kelly Wang, Nico Switney, Katie Yeager, and Celia Yours. You also had A's all year. My apologies for that little hiccup. Okay, all A's award winners on the silver team include Elizabeth Horvath, Olivia Killingbeck, Sophia La Roca, Gavin Moore, Olivia O'Haver, Rohan Oja, Josephine Ratz, Mahakpreet Sidhu, Ella Timmons, and Heath Wingler. Congratulations, guys. Excellent job in the classroom. And last but not least, our yellow teamers with, an all, a with all A's all year were Claire Adkisson, Isabella Gonzalez, Mason Liu, Claire Lawler, and Maria Shank. Great job, yellow teamers. Way to do it. Uh, way to do so well in, a, in the classroom this year. All A's. Phenomenal work. Well, folks, that concludes today's celebration. I hope you enjoyed it. hope this was a good 30 minutes or so of uh, celebration for you and your, and your loved ones at home. Uh, we wish you the very, very best. Uh, again, special thanks to all the students, staff, parents, and loved ones who joined us today. Please know that certificates and anything else that is normally issued with these awards will be presented to your students at a later time. Uh, but uh, most importantly, just take care of yourselves. We wish everyone a very happy and healthy summer break. And of course, sixth graders, we're so excited to get you back uh, next year for another phenomenal school year. So uh, bless, have a blessed day, uh, and uh, this concludes our presentation.